Naomi Campbell commanded attention as she attended the opening of Forever, Valentino, an exhibition held at M7 Art Center in Doha, Qatar, on Thursday night. The supermodel, 52, looked incredible in a pink gown while wowing onlookers with an elaborate headpiece with coordinating ribbons as she walked the red carpet in the Middle Eastern country. The event comes just weeks ahead of the Qatar World Cup, with the country facing growing criticism over its treatment of women, migrant workers and LGBTQ people. Meanwhile Sabrina Elba, 33, commanded attention in a billowing green gown for the event where she was joined by Janet Jackson, 56, who wore a brown dress. The floaty number featured statement oversized sleeves and a flattering two-tier design and was teamed with white heels to boost her height. Idris Elba's wife accessorized her glamorous look perfectly with a circular glitzy gold bag and matching necklace and earrings. She had her dark dresses styled into a sleek choppy bob and opted for a radiant makeup look to show off her pretty features. The event comes just weeks ahead of the Qatar World Cup, which has faced growing criticism over its treatment of women, migrant workers and the LGBTQ community. The decision by FIFA to hold the World Cup in Qatar has been surrounded by controversy, particularly in relation to migrant workers and the LGBTQ community. Qatar has faced intense scrutiny of the physical and contractual conditions for hundreds of thousands of migrant workers in the tiny Emirates since the World Cup hosting rights were won 12 years ago. It is yet to be seen how much time World Cup broadcasters will spend highlighting the allegations against the Qatari government, which include 2013 claims by The Guardian that workers were denied food, water, and were stripped of their passports. Some allege they were not paid, or if they were, the payments were minimal and long overdue. A 2019 Daily Mirror investigation found that 28,000 workers were paid roughly $1 an hour over a 48-hour week. Most damning, The Wall Street Journal reported in 2015 that over 1,200 workers died building the infrastructure for the tournament. Last year, The Guardian put that figure at closer to 6,500. Qatar also punishes homosexuality with imprisonment and considers men to be the guardians of their female relatives. It also has strict laws on alcohol, drugs, public intimacy, relationships outside marriage, dress codes and swearing. In March, FIFA president Gianni Infantino claimed Qatar has been progressive on labor rights, I am pleased to see the strong commitment from the Qatari authorities to ensure the reforms are fully implemented across the labor market, leaving a lasting legacy of the FIFA World Cup long after the event, and benefiting migrant workers in the host country in the long term. More videos 1, 2, 3 Watch video Young Burns Survivor is presented with the Child of Courage Award Watch video and and Dex reaction to Emma Celebrity 2022 lineup reveal Watch video Matt Smith celebrates his 40th birthday with friends in Ecuador Watch video Penny Lancaster, GP gave me antidepressants for menopause symptoms Watch video Beckham shares his experience being always the last pick to play Watch video It's going to be a big old pop reunion Blue on upcoming tour watch video Tim Allen reprises role as Santa in the Santa Clauses watch video Adele calls Taylor Swift one of the greatest of our generation watch video Millie Bobby Brown and Jake Bon Jovi at Enola Holmes 2 premiere watch video Henry Cavill and Natalie Riscuso at the Enola Holmes 2 premiere watch video Valerie Bertinelli embarrassed after Matthew Perry kiss reveal watch video Carl and Ally laughing at the title of Prince Harry's book some campaigners have urged celebrities to boycott the World Cup, with Robbie Williams and David Beckham both coming under criticism for associating with the competition.
Robbie was recently unveiled as one of the music acts set to play at the Qatar Live concerts during a press conference in Doha. Meanwhile, David agreed a £10 million deal to become an ambassador for the country over a decade, which has resulted in him being the face of the World Cup 2022.